today we're going to go on an Ibex hunt, and I wanted to start looking for all new diamond Ibex for a new Grand Slam multi mount because I tried to get an all diamonds Grand Slam in the past, but I never got a diamond southeastern Spanish Ibex, and for a while they were actually broken there where they couldn't make diamond, but the most recent update fixed that, and I wanted to actually start looking for diamond Ibex again, but in order for everything in this video to make sense, I think we have to start with a kill I had in multiplayer the other day. That is the first level 5 Bethides Ibex I've seen since the most recent update. And I think I may go for that. Not with a bow. But uh, just because of where we are and where he is, I feel like we should. Just like before he would start trotting again. But yeah, I've seen a lot of 4s and I actually shot two 4s. Alright, uh, two 4s that made diamond. Just actually clearing hunting pressure for the Red Deer video, and I, I didn't really realize that those could make diamond. So I was a little bit bummed that I shot those and like didn't record them, but I'm pretty sure he was 172 to 222, so he should score 197 if I'm correct, which should be enough to make diamond, so that would be cool. So I honestly have no idea if this 5 would actually be notably bigger than the 4s. He's 199.7. The 4s I shot I believe were both over 200. But I wonder if he actually is, like, bigger looking. I'm honestly not sure. I'll have to look, because I haven't even put the other ones in the trophy lodge yet. But a proper five diamond Bethides is definitely a little more interesting than random fours that I didn't even know could make diamond. So that'll be the reason we're not going for any Bethides Ibex in this video. We have three diamonds already. That five we got there and the two fours I mentioned where I shot uh, two of them not realizing that level four... Bethides could be diamond, so I've kind of got some extra ones hanging around, but I did want to start with Grados. They're probably the second most common Ibex species to make diamond, and there's actually a multi-mount for them that it's one Grados and one Bethides Ibex fighting, and I think it's called like Head First or something, but if we could manage to get an extra diamond in Grados, I would definitely put that multi-mount together as well, but this is one of my Red Deer spots, so I've got a tripod set up here, and I think... Everything else here seems to be just Mouflon, so we may just take our four and move on, but at least we don't have to add extra hunting pressure. I think I'm only going to worry about shooting level fours. There's another one over there, but I don't know where he's headed, so I think I'm going to go across here, and if we can get a better shot at him, we'll go for it. You may have noticed I brought the 6.5 today. Um, I actually really enjoyed using it over on Layton, and it is a cool weapon. It did come out with Quattro, so I thought we'd use that for most of our Ibex hunting. I brought the muzzleloader as well, just for... A little bit of added fun. And actually, I think this may be a perfect opportunity to use the muzzle loader. He's sitting right at about 200. We're actually zeroed for that already. And I'm surprised he ran at all. I want to see where that hit because as powerful as the muzzle loader is, for the Ipex to not just immediately drop is kind of impressive, but let's see where we hit it. There's actually another four out there, and that one actually I think is a pretty good one. So, I guess I spooked him, but I'll definitely stick to the 6.5 for this, just because I think he's the biggest we've seen. And that should be just fine, so... Three level 4 Grados at this first lake, and actually there's a lot of 4 uh, Grados, so I guess that's not crazy, but... Good for potential respawns anyway. But this was our muzzleloader one, we had lung and... Actually, vertebrae, which I would have thought would have dropped him, but maybe double lung would have. And what do you need? 100.1 for them, so he's not bad. This would have actually been the first one we shot. That's actually a silver level 4, which I forgot was a thing, but... Yeah, the Grados always were a species where level 4s could be silvers as well. And I actually have no idea. Um, they also were a species where a lot of 5s were just golds. So maybe they're one where you're not getting level 4 diamonds like the Bethides. But I'll definitely be looking out for that score estimate now. But then our last one, which I do think was better. Actually, he's not even the biggest one. He's only 82. But still a decent one there. And, I mean, double lung from the 6.5 ain't dropping them either, so... Maybe that wouldn't have got it with the muscle loader, but that's actually something I'm going to try to do is double lung one and see if they do drop, because usually the muscle loader will drop just about anything. There have to be more of these guys, like, hiding somewhere? This lake always had more than just a couple of Ibex, but I guess we'll get that one. You know what? That's actually a pretty in-range shot for the muzzleloader, so I want to try that again. Just to see. 
Eh, it's a little more than what I expected, so I guess double lung is going to be usually drop shots. I know sometimes they drank over there, like, where the land juts out into the water, so hopefully we can see that from this side. But surely there's other ones around here. But yeah, kind of as expected, that's another silver level 4. But I didn't see any out on this part. I think they sometimes drank around the rest of the lake as well, but I kind of thought those two spots were the most common. I don't know, though. I'm going to have to come back to this area, because I must have spooked them, like, maybe down at the other end. I just feel like there had to be more than three here, but basically our entire southeastern Ibex area is set up because of red deer hunting, so I think we'll go to that next, just since we have all these tents here. There's actually a pretty nice four over there. Now, I know level four southeastern Spanish Ibex are making diamonds sometimes, so we're definitely going to treat that as if it could be. We'll make sure we get in nice and close. He's the max weight estimate as well, which I haven't seen a lot of. So, there's another herd over here, which I think we're just going to have to completely ignore. There's that one decent three there, but yeah, I think we probably should just focus on making a good shot on that dude. Oh, hang on. Well, that one's a higher estimate, but a lower score, so I don't think that one's going to be diamond, but we'll try to get them both then. Which means, not the muzzleloader, but we're going to use the 6.5. I don't love shooting Ibex that are facing me, so I'll probably get prone just to try to help out. Oh god, yeah, that's a thing. I forgot they do that. So we didn't actually get a lung there. Maybe that'll help. Nah, he's still just fine, unfortunately. Tch, go figure. Third shot's going to be the one that brings him down. And then there's this one, which I kind of want to wait for him to stop, just in case. He's actually doing that now. I think that should have been a good hit. Looks like it is. Alright, so. No idea if that's actually big enough, but the fact that he's a higher estimate, and I know it's like around 90 where they were making diamond, that could actually be. So this should have been the one we messed up. And... Diamond requirement's 89.6, and the other one we shot is, like, right there. So, honestly, I'm not sure, but this guy was close, and he only weighs 75 kilos, which is weird. Like, he was barely into the max estimate, but he's one below diamond. And this guy wasn't even max estimate, and he may be. Like, he's really, really close. He is, actually. He's 90 trophy rating, so he's 0.4 above at 73 kilos. So, here's the thing. I don't know... Like, what a diamond southeastern Ibex used to look like. It was similar to this. I don't know if I want to actually have that as the multi-mount one we use or not. And I don't even know if that should be, like, legit or not. Because that's, like, 10 kilos below the old uh, diamond weight requirement. So I'll have to look and see if those are, like, the right horns. Because I shot some fives I can probably compare it to. I'm sure I have screenshots somewhere. But that seems a little bit weird to me. Like, I knew that was happening at low weights, but... I didn't really think that we'd get one, not even the max estimate. So I guess since we got that, we're going to spend the last bit of Ibex drink time on Rondas. But I'm still not really sure, like, what I should think about that. I don't know if I should try to look for one that's higher weight or, you know, actually level 5. I'm, I'm not really sure what I think yet. So I'm going to look at some screenshots and see what the other, like, old system Diamond Southeastern horns look like but there's two fours in here this one over here is max weight estimate so i think we'll get him and actually one of the rare times ibex stuck around to get a second shot we can take both of them so yeah that one's barely into the uh, max weight estimate just like the other southeastern we shot he's only 62 and it was 61 to 70 and our other one shouldn't be too far away i kind of was out of running so i don't know where i shot him but they do drink the other end of this lake as well, and I'd like to get to the last Ronda Ibex uh, drink stone before their time ends, but we're kind of pushing it, so we'll see if we can manage to do that. I just want to check the other side super quick, and if there's not like a max weight estimate for I probably won't shoot it. But two golds, was he bigger? 93, what was our last one? Okay, 95, so at least he wasn't bigger, but... Let's go ahead and fast travel back here to save a little bit of time. And we have at least one max estimate. One, he's actually going to be 
bigger than that one we got. He's up to 111. Another max estimate one up to 112. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get both, especially the angle we have to shoot. Wait, there's three? There are, okay. Well then, I'm glad I came over here. I already lost track. Okay, that's the biggest one. I wonder... He may be far enough away that they're not going to hear this shot. So I'm going to go for that first and hope that's the case. And he's the biggest one, so if they flee, not a big deal. But that's just fine. Um, I don't know if they're leaving. Ah, couldn't get the last one spotted there. So I don't know. I'm not going to go for that. I don't want to mess that one up. We'll try to get him later. But I'm pretty sure we nailed two of them. Although the hunting pressure kind of says otherwise. Maybe we didn't get that second one. Yeah, no organ set. I thought for sure that was fine, but he hasn't died. And we're basically end of Ronda drink time, or I guess all the Ibex drink time. So let's fast travel up to this little lake because we can probably catch them before they're actually gone. I mean, it kind of worked, but they weren't drinking where I thought they were. So they did spook up the hill, but we'll take that one. And as far as I could tell, it was just level threes here. But I'll maybe see if this or one of the other threes that went up that way will just slow down so we can get them for respawns anyway. Doesn't look like he's gonna. Oh wait, he just went nervous. Alright, nice. Hang on. Ooh, that probably... Well, it's gonna say that wasn't a good hit, but he's dying pretty quick, so... Liver, stomach, something we got in there? This would have been the first one, because that was a hard shot. Almost too low, actually. The second one, I think, was kind of in the middle. I see the blood there, so that's a high bleed rate. Can't tell if any of those were vital blood. I think it was, so at worst we got the liver. And the other one drops, so this has to be that last one we shot. And I would say we're going to end up getting the full score out of it if I can ever get up here. Yeah, barely. Somehow we got the lung on that, which doesn't make any sense, but sure. And the last one is right there, so not a bad Ibex hunt. I still don't know, like, what to think about the southeastern one. I'm going to compare some screenshots. We'll see if he has the right horns, and I don't know. It is the diamond, so not a whole lot I can do about that. But let's head back to the lodge, because I have those Bethides as well to throw in there. So no multi-mounts for Bethides and southeastern Spanish Ibex, so for the moment they're just all going to be on these plaques, but... I'm trying to tell, I feel like the 5 has a very distinct difference. Like, there's completely different horns between that and the level 4 that made diamond, which unfortunately I didn't have actually in the video, because like I said, I didn't know they were making diamond, but... I mean, it's very clearly different, honestly, than both of them. But I guess it's just the way the trophy rating is, like, calculated that this, like, shape for them actually seems to do just as well, because this guy's the biggest, he was a 4. This guy's the smallest, he was a 4. And this one's in the middle of the five, 199, so I don't know. But anyway, we got our diamond southeastern Ibex. We still need a diamond Ronda and a diamond Grados. And I'd like to get a second diamond Grados just to do that other multi mount. But certainly a good start as far as getting a uh, all diamond Grand Slam for the Ibex. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.